Hey what's up guys, today we'll be looking at some fresh new apps that you should be using. Let's get started. First on the list is Phoenix 2. It's still in beta but it's like the best third party app that you can get for Twitter. It presents you with all your tweets in a pretty clean and minimal UI. Holding on a tweet lets you like it, retweet or even comment on it. Swiping to the right reveals your Twitter activity like your retweets and mentions. Another swipe to the right gives you all your latest messages. There are a few things you can customize in the settings menu. You can choose which columns you have direct access to, that is by swiping. You can also select your preferred color scheme, layout and font size. You can also choose which notifications you want to receive and how you want to receive them. Next we have Cortana for Android. So it's probably the best replacement you can get for Google Now. You can either search by speaking to your phone or by typing whatever you need. With Cortana you can add new reminders that too with time, place and photo. You can also ask it for the weather today or even for the next few days. You can also have a look at the latest movies and songs or even ask Cortana for a few jokes for entertainment. By the way you can also activate Cortana by simply saying hey Cortana. After that we have an icon pack called Fix Retro. It brings over 2800 icons with that retro look that we all dig. That is the pastel colors but sort of faded out. The huge number of icons means that almost all apps are covered and you'd also get different colors for a single app. The icons look fantastic and they play well on your home screen setup, especially if you're trying to achieve a retro look. For that the pack also comes with 18 HD wallpapers that all have a minimal retro vibe to them. It's a great icon pack and it usually goes on sale at a 100% discount. Following that is Geometric Weather. This is your one stop for the day's weather forecast. At the top you get the current temperature and weather conditions and below that you get a detailed forecast which includes the day and night briefings, wind speed and direction, humidity and even UV index. Jumping into settings allows you to toggle to Fahrenheit, change the refresh rate and even choose how the app sends you notifications. It's a pretty simple app but can be very useful if the weather affects your plans for the day. After that is Wallpaper. So it's another minimal designed app that gives you lots of HD wallpapers. They're all simple photographs but look fantastic on any home screen setup. Tapping on a wallpaper gives you a few options that is like the wallpaper, share it, download it or even quick set it as your current wallpaper. By the way all the wallpapers are available in two options that is either in color or grayscale. There are many categories such as minimal, nature, technology, patterns, lights and more. And if none of them match your liking then you can simply choose a solid color and it can be chosen from any palette or maybe even create your own. Next we have Timber which can edit both video and audio. For audio you can cut, join and even split it in different parts. You can also convert the selected audio file to different formats like WAV, FLAC and M4A. You can also export the audio in different bitrates in case you want to save space on your device. The app also allows you to speed up or slow down any sort of audio. For video editing you get similar functions like cut, join, convert, change speed or even extract a particular frame. The app also has a text to speech engine in case you want an audio version of something written. Moving on is Tempmail which is quite a unique app. So you can use this app to generate a temporary email address. So maybe you want to use a site but you can't trust it with your original email because of spam and other reasons. That's where you can use a disposable email which can be managed through this app. The only downside is that you can only receive mails through this email and not send your own. Otherwise you have access to all your emails and you can even change the user login by entering the desired email address. Last on the list is Posteroid. Just as the name suggests, this is the app you'd want to get if you like creating minimal posters and typos. First, you have to select the desired background from your gallery and even choose how much blur you want to add to it. Or you could simply choose a solid color. Next, add your custom text, adjust the spacing, change the font and even select the alignment. Finally, choose the poster style and even add a border to it. So it can be very useful if you like making typos or maybe even sharing quotes.